We are gonna end the rest of this year off strong. We are going to exit our lazy girl era. We are standing on business for the rest of the year and going forward. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys productive habits that you can start to practice to get you out of your lazy girl era and into your productive era. So if you're new here, my name is Gilda and we discuss all things here on my channel. Yeah. You don't want to miss anything, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. Oh, it is thundering. Sorry, guys. Being lazy could mean that you're not being your best productive self. Maybe you're laying down all day on TikTok, on social media all day, or you might just feel like you're kind of like in a little funk where, you know, there's just points in our lives where we don't really feel as motivated. What does your routine look like? What does your prayer life look like? What is your mindset like when you wake up? So if your space is not clean, crowd your mind. Just like when your room is cluttered or you're in a cluttered space, it's going to clutter your mind. You're not going to feel like getting up. You're not going to feel like being productive. So first things first is your morning routine. Mornings matter. In person, I'm not someone who likes to be up first thing in the morning. So I'm not saying that you have to get up at the crack of dawn. You don't have to be up at like four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. But try to get up at a reasonable time. So having that routine is going to help you to become productive. Now my rule of thumb is I try to always make sure I get an adequate amount of rest at night. First get up in the morning. I am making sure that my space is clean. I am opening up my blinds. I have my blinds open and you see how much natural light it is literally giving me right now. It just wakes the body up when you get some natural sunlight. Even if it's raining, it's gloomy outside, you still want to just open up your blinds, allow some light to come in and just flow in. That way, you know, your mind can register like, okay, it's morning, it's daytime, it's time to get up, time to get my day started. And exercise, 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 exercise. It is recommended that you move your body at least 30 minutes a day, according to Google. But what I will say is I try, and it doesn't always have to be a high intense workout. This could mean exercising at home. There are really, really good exercises. Even right here on YouTube, you can search at home exercises or even just taking a walk. So if I don't make it to the gym, I will sometimes get up early in the morning and I will take a walk around my neighborhood, take a wrong walk around the block. Personally, I am not a coffee drinker, but I know a lot of people are. Morning, try to make sure that you drink enough water before drinking your coffee. This will avoid having the midday crash, which I know a lot of people talk about. So make sure you drink enough water. Next thing I've realized is your mindset. Your mindset and how you tackle the tasks and the different things that you have to do in a day. And this is why I love to have a to-do list so I can check off each thing as I get done. Also, I just take the task at hand one at a time. I don't worry about what I gotta do next. I worry about what I gotta do right now. I check that off my list and then I worry about the next thing later. And if I can't get to the other thing, I'm sorry, but it's okay. I'm not gonna die. Do not wanna become complacent in being lazy or, you know, just not bettering yourself. The thing I wanna talk about is rest days. I have been working out consistently now for two years and I have finally figured out a schedule that works for me. I definitely recommend that you write down, whether it be in your notes or anywhere that is accessible, write down your workout splits. So I noticed the biggest change in my body physically when I had rest days. So rest days are the days that I really just prioritize, whether it be stretching, a lot of hydrating and just resting your muscles. I have learned to go on solo dates. I have learned to take myself out. It just shows that like you're not gonna let anybody like stop you, you know? But it causes you to be productive because you're not waiting for someone else to take you out. Sometimes when we're always waiting for a friend or we're waiting for someone, we sometimes might not end up doing it because their schedule might be conflicting. And then now you didn't get to do that thing or you didn't get to join that cycling class because you were waiting for a friend. No, go ahead and sign up and do and take yourself out. It is okay, you will be fine. Just make sure you're safe. Instead of going out tonight, guys, I'm gonna stay inside and I'm gonna be productive and get this thing done, whether it be a project in your house, whether it be running, you know, certain errands. Sometimes you have to prioritize your productivity first and yourself before, you know, doing social activities. Obviously, you know, you should still have social activities, but make sure that you are, you know, getting your work done and really being in grind mode. Who are in school, there are gonna be times where your friends are gonna ask you to go out. Girl, sometimes you have to say no because your future self is going to thank you for staying in and studying, 
hitting them deadlines right, so let's remember let's get into our thriving era we're gonna do this together so leave some comments please leave some comments i love reading comments i do read all the comments and tell me what you guys are gonna take from this video and incorporate into your daily lifestyle or what is it that you guys do to have gotten you out of your lazy girl era i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video